Hey everyone, it's Donald with your tray drying rack. So Angel and I, uh, this have created, we didn't create this, we found this obviously. We have produced it with the 3D printer. Uh, many people are asking about uh, food safe filaments. Our filaments that we have ordered are from filaments or filament.ca. I don't remember if it's with an S or not. But if you go on their website, you'll see their filaments on there. There's a click, the spot that says, talks about food safe filaments. So that's the filaments we are using. So we always recommend hand washing this. If you don't know, or you haven't seen 3D parts before, there is small little lines that are created, which is the filament line, right? Um, in turn, there's always an opportunity that bacteria can still get in there. So that's why we recommend definitely washing by hand, all that type of stuff. But these right here are only about five and a half inches wide for the large trays, right? The other one, the medium and small will obviously be a little smaller, but we have large trays. So that's what we wanted to make sure we tested, make sure it worked on uh, really well. So instead of having all your trays, laid out on a counter you can definitely see how small this is um, you, what you'll do is you'll just put them in the slots that are built in you and typically i like to put the two end pieces together obviously to be lopsided if you're doing it heavy and i'm going to cut my face right in half right So you'll see that they go in there pretty well. If I want to move these, what I do is simply just grab them and hold them together. And then I move the whole thing as a, as a set. So you'll see that they just kind of go back together. When stuff's drying, you, you know everything kind of rolls, rolls off these pretty well. Um, and in the bottom of this, so you can always put like a towel or a paper towel or something. There are little holes on the bottom so you can see the holes. Um, so it kind of lets stuff go through there, right? So we've looked all over the internet. We obviously found uh, the, the 3D printed file um, and it says they could be commercially produced and everything like that. So that's what we're producing. Uh, we have not found these on any other sites that are already produced. I have a feeling it's because they take a long time to produce. Um, so we will be doing these. We're gonna iron this. I don't know if I said that already. And the ironing should help make these uh, lines that you see, and you guys can't really see them because they're super small, um, even like better. So hopefully that will help with some of that um, bacteria that might try growing in there. But you're gonna have that no matter what with any filament that's kind of used with the 3D printer. We do use a stainless steel uh, nozzle which if you use brass, there's a higher possibility of getting lead or anything else. So if you guys are buying 3D parts from somebody else, I definitely probably ask them, hey, what kind of nozzle are you using? Because you guys wanna make sure you protect yourself from lead and stuff like that. So 3D nozzle uh, or a stainless steel nozzle is happening. Food safe filament is happening. So we're trying our best to make sure that we make these as best as possible but make sure you guys are just cleaning these really, really well. They're a 3D part at the end of the day. So if you guys have any questions for us, fixmyfd.com is where these are going to be located at. Right now, that's going to be the only place they're located. They take an extremely long time. When they're on the site, probably next week, because um, we're going to print some. And as we always do, we're going to make sure the inventory is there, right? So... We'll try getting a couple of each size on the site. Uh, if you leave a comment down below, if you're interested in these, let us know what kind of color maybe you're interested in. We have like a silver coming in, a green, it's like a green apple, red tomato. Um, we have a yellow coming in, it's a pineapple yellow. Um, Angel, do you remember what other colors we got coming in? I think a brown. And I think there's like a, uh, it's almost like a lilac color. If you guys go on their website, you guys will see that color on there as well. And I don't know if we got a pink or not, but we got like six, seven different colors coming in. So 
Leave a comment down below on colors you might be interested in. This right here will be $75. I will have to run the calculations on the medium and small sizes. They will probably go down about five bucks or so each, uh, depending because it will be less filament. So, but that's where we're at with the drying racks. Let us know what you guys think about these. Uh, but we appreciate your guys' support with everything going on. Tray stackers are still, there's still some in stock. I'm almost out of filament to make more, but I just ordered more of that food, uh, food safe uh, filament. So if you guys need anything from us though, uh, be sure to let us know. Thanks so much. Bye.